Presented for your enjoyment by Roma Wines. That's R-O-M-A, Roma Wines. Those excellent California wines that can add so much pleasantness to the way you live, to your happiness in entertaining guests, to your enjoyment of everyday meals. Yes, right now a glass full would be very pleasant as Roma Wines bring you... Oh, hey Owen, how you doing? <sighs> Depressed. <laughs> you and your jokes. I'm gonna go kill myself now. A podcast? Sure. Let's do it. That we spent nothing on this introduction. For the love of God, help me. This is our podcast. Yeah, yeah. It's called the Wave of Absurdity. Hey, everybody! It's a podcast. Indeed. Joined once again by your favourite slugger of a host, me, and by the not so voluptuous Phil. Hi there. Hello. How are you today, Owen? Great. Why don't you tell the five people what's coming up on today's show, shall you? <laughs> All right, I'd love to. What we have coming up on the show is we have some world news hosted Whoa. by Owen and myself. I know, we have some news from the viewers the themselves. Viewer. I know, I think viewers is kind of a harsh term. I think if they're listening, if they're the 4%, then we should call them prisoners. We have prisoner news. I'm going to rape you. Oh, yeah. After prisoner news, we are coming back hard and strong and completely not flaccid with Master Debater. We skipped it. We skipped it last time due to conflicts in what constituted a Master Debater topic, but no longer. So Master Debater is back. Also, no, it was because of time, remember? Time constraints destroyed master debater but now we're back with more time why because we killed other features will you notice possibly if you're the type of person to skip around looking for the contest skip 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 after that we're definitely having some lateral thinking 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 with no emphasis on lateral no echo whatsoever Following that, immediately it would be chock full of things that viewers have sent in. Are they what? emails? Yes. They could be emails. They, Whoa. they could be nothing but emails. Whoa. Oh, and you sound... Before you go into a complete stroke, why don't you tell people where they could email in anything they feel like? Well, Phil, they can oh. email at us a wave of absurdity at hotmail.com. Crazy stuff. I love that guy. Okay, let's not talk this way anymore. Seriously. Do you, I, there goes 20%. Okay. So I want to start this off with a song about Phil's nipples. Uh, Phil? Yes? Have you listened to the song? <sighs> Admittedly, I had listened to the song. Uh, I have... Should I save my first impressions till after the music, which I assume would be a cut for me here now? Okay, so let's shut up, Phil. You're ruining the magic. Let's both hear the song. For the first time. They're insecure. 
don't know what for. They're turning heads when I walk through the door. Don't need makeup to cover up. Being the way that they are is enough. Everyone else in the room can see it. Everyone else but them. Phil's nipples light up my world like nobody else. The way that they flip the head gets me overwhelmed. But when they're hard at the ground, it ain't hard to tell. You don't know. Uh oh. Phil's nipples are beautiful. Okay, and we're back. Phil. <laughs> oh, crazy stuff. Oh, man. That. <laughs> that Gregory, he sure wants your nips. I'm going to have him arrested. <laughs> I think that's a very wise idea. <laughs> no, can I say, I don't know if those are lyrics that were altered or if they're completely original. I was immediately reminded of the scene from, uh, uh, wow, wow. Uh, Hannibal the Cannibal, what the fuck, the first movie. Silence of the Lambs. Thank you, Owen, for your help in that matter. No problem. When the dudes... Uh, putting on makeup and he's got his dick tucked you know he's wearing the gown it's a very iconic scene of the movie and he's singing and and like I'd fuck me he gets all like that I thought that very much when I listened to that music so congratulations Greg good job you have uh, freaked us out yes uh, nothing says I'm a fan of the show more than evoking images of Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs, not a kid's movie. My mother would never allow me to watch that film. Really? She got that part right. <laughs> and then I was a bloody rebel and watched it anyway, and I love those films. Oh, See, I want to eat people now. I, uh... <laughs> My dad wouldn't let me watch Terminator, and I want to go into the past and kill people. So I know how you feel. Well, thank goodness. Hey. What's up? You what do you now? call a penguin in the desert? Uh, a penguin not. Bring back the soundboard. That'll be an issue for Shut later. Shut your fucking face. Did you know that the votes are now up to 30 thumbs in favor? Go check episode one. Oh, and you can try to edit this out, but the people, they'll know. 1,000 thumbs and the soundboard comes back. 1,000 thumbs and let's be realistic. 1,007. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith. There we Just go, a thousand and seven thumbs, and the soundboard comes back. All right, until that time. Just you wait till next podcast, sir. I will not have a digital soundboard at all. Just you wait. You consider that a threat. Oh, Ooh. sorry. I'm putting it in my phone as a promise, but you can consider that as a threat. That I'm scared. Dude, what the fuck? That was the perfect segue into into the news. Okay, let's do it again. All right. I'm putting it in my phone. It's time for world news. <laughs> Cocksucker. <laughs> Traditionally, Owen goes first, but I'm going to continue to go first. But we're not breaking tradition. <laughs> If Owen would only let me finish, that would have been clear. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, I've only got one piece of news for you today. Mm. Uh, okay. Because, mm? because why? Lackadaisical? Well, there was time constraints on actually getting news. I seem, I'm sorry, I seem to remember you lollygagging about playing San Andreas. That was yesterday, Phil. God. Yeah. In case you All don't right. know, we are actually recording this on a Thursday. But hey, my news goes: Shitterton voted country's <laughs> most embarrassing place name. <laughs> Shitterton in Dorset has been voted the place with the country's most embarrassing name. For those who have had to set the "Welcome to Shitterton" sign in concrete after it was repeatedly <laughs> stolen by pranksters, the joke's probably wearing a bit thin. Mm. But the idyllic helmet has. Nonetheless, been voted by uh, been voted 
the place with the country's most embarrassing name. Wow. I would actually be quite happy to be shitter ton. <laughs> a shitter a shitter tonight? Yes, because then you could just be a smart ass when somebody says, Oh yes, and like where'd you live? Shit a ton. <laughs> okay, okay, son, there's no need for that kind of language. Shit a ton! Okay, calm down. A shit a ton! Calm down. <laughs> shit a ton! 69 Bunghole Lane Shitterton! <laughs> I like how they had to have a vote. How many <laughs> How many uh, entries were I know, there? I know there's a place called Finger and Ho. <laughs> Fucking Hum. Gaze. And Butto Road. All I right. know there are. Uh, I know those off by heart. That's good information <laughs> to have. General knowledge. Do you, is a do good you thing know them have. by heart because you know exactly where they are? Maybe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have ended with gaze and jumping right into. I know them by heart. <laughs> Just hey, a tip. That was my subconscious. Maybe it's trying to tell me something. Um, my subconscious is trying to say something. Hang on. If we listen closely. Get out. Get out. I'm the, the one that made a song about your nips. <laughs> Yeah, you're not the one that's going to have an FBI profiler on them. <laughs> All right. Well, that's my word news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have some news for you that I want you to read. Oh, without... here we go. Does it have some place names and I can't pronounce because I love that? No, no. No, no. No, I don't no. have... A link to the article, but I put it into Google Documents and highlighted the parts I want you to read because it's a rather... Is this my uh, challenge? This is for Mamma Mia, that's a mouthful, which is exactly how that should be pronounced. <laughs> What's wrong with my pronunciations? Just let me know if you see the highlighted bits in the link I sent you. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, Virus. Okay, I do. All right, so blue... Why is, why is blue and green here? All right, just remember that there's a cut in the page. Stop reading ahead. Start <laughs> reading out loud now. Go, 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 go. <laughs> a Western Nevada college student claims in court that her human sexuality instruct... What? Human sexuality instructor required students to masturbate to pass his class. I like this already. Uh, made them keep sex journals for class discussion was obsessed with women's orgasm and told the class quote that he will increase their sexual urges to such a height that they won't be able to think about anything other than sex end quote Whoa. plaintiff <laughs> I know man <laughs> plaintiff KR sued Western Nevada College uh, her instructor Tom what's that Kubistant I kept Kub reading it as Kubrick but it's Kubistant I guess Kubistant, Kubistant. We're just calling Tom K. Department Department Chairman Robert Morin, uh, a college president, Carol Lucy, in federal court. KR says that she wrote in Mr. K's human sexuality <laughs> class in the fall of twenty eleven. The only thing falling should be her panties. Figuring it would help her in her profession Fingering? as a social worker. How would <laughs> that help her in a social <laughs> worker? It's a social situation. Go on. <laughs> How often do you masturbate, Timmy? The class was part psychology, was part of the psychology department of the College Carson City campus. All right, jump to the next blue paragraph. Uh, 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 uh. On the second day of class, Mr. K spent the entire three-hour period discussing female orgasms and female ejaculation, and played a 19-minute movie of a woman having orgasmic sex. The, com uh, the complaint states. It adds, quote, At the conclusion of the movie, Mr. K asked female students to openly discuss their own orgasms with the class, and then revealed, through reading the students' journals, We have virgins in the room. <laughs> now to the green. Now the green is End mixed quote. between two pages. So Why is the green here? Do the green. Mr. K then doled out homework assignments. Students were to masturbate twice as much as they normally would do then disclose specifications in their journals. The complaint states, quote, Mr. K informed the class that if they were masturbating 14 times a week, they must masturbate 28 times a week, end quote, according to the complaint. KR claims that she informed Mr. K that she did not masturbate, 
causing Mr. K to order her to masturbate at least three times. Quote, Mr. K then angrily announced to the entire class they must masturbate if they intend to pass the class, according to the complaint. <laughs> and that's it. You would not need to tell me twice. I know. I finally got that A plus, Mom! <laughs> if that's all I had to do to pass class, I'd just whip it out right there and then. I like to point out that you chuckled uh, when you said That was we just have... because you were laughing. Ah, no, 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 no. When you said we have no, virgins no, 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 in the room. No, 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 no. We, we have, have virgins in the that. room. When you said that, you chuckled. Sorry. When did I chuckle? When in the middle of the phrase, we have virgins in the room. No, that was you. No, sorry. I totally did not chuckle. You will not be able it's to. It's in the recording. That's what I mean. It doesn't matter. I'm secure in the knowledge that. Uh, okay, this is a grave injustice. The people will not stand for this. There will be riots in the streets. There will be murder in your name. Can you live with this? There won't. There'll be people going, yeah, he kind of chuckled around the part where he said, through reading the journal students' journals, we have virgins in the room. That was That's totally you, not me. All right, well, let's just move on from now. I was laughing at you, man. I was laughing at you. So uh, do you want to do some of the viewer news uh, that was mailed oh, in? Oh, shit. Okay, we got a... Uh, <laughs> An email here from Lauren. Should we read the whole thing or not? You mean the whole mail? Uh, sure. Why not? Dear Owen and. What did I say, Owen? Dear Owen and Phil. <laughs> you messed Hello. up your own fucking name. First, I would like to say that Mouth Phil feature is amazing. How much did, did you pay her? I, I, I'm i telling you, man, it's sweeping <laughs> the world, okay? I, I didn't have to pay her anything. If you discontinue it, I would probably kill myself in the most painful way possible. Oh, now I feel guilty. I am a woman, so testicular asphyxiation is out of the question. Whoa, it's like she's been listening! Second, I was disappointed that there were no penguin jokes. Oh, oh she's right. What, was there no penguin jokes? I don't believe there were. Maybe there was... And you edited them out? There were no penguin jokes in the last episode. Which means I want double in the next one. Oh, shit. Third. Oh, that's never mind. That's the would you rather. And finally, ah, yes. fuck you too, Owen. <laughs> and in between, lots of news. Lots of news. Which one should I go for, Phil? I think I'm well, going for the Squirtle. I think you should because I think that could add a theme and I want to look at that picture again. <laughs> you sexual pervert. If you want to join in, click the link below. If Heroes Owen decides to put them in this beach time. Beach volleyball. <laughs> I'm sorry, were you talking? I was uh Sorry, what 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 are we doing? I'm looking at <laughs> that woman. Squirrels disrupt beach volleyball. She's pulling Olympic at her beach butthole. volleyball players have had come across an unexpected handicap. Squirrels burying their nuts in their courts. Not a euphemism. On on their courts, not in their courts. That makes it more of a euphemism than anything else. The rodents have been burying bee. What's that? Burying beach, beach nuts. nuts. Another beach beautiful nuts. Sorry, euphemism. Sorry, beach nuts. Sorry, my eyes went all screwy. <laughs> and acorns on six sandy practice courts at London St James <laughs> Park. Sorry, that's I'm using that somehow. Hey, uh, honey, uh. Your parents have the baby. How about we go and bury the old beech nuts and acorns on six sandy practice courts at London St. James Park? You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink. And bikini-clad players have been left grimacing as yes. they land barefoot on the squirrel snacks. Ouch. Now, I heard a fact about, well, I don't know if it's true, but maybe you've heard the same thing, Phil. That squirrels forget, like, 60% of their nuts. That they forget where they've placed them. Which just uh, seems like squirrels are a horrible, wasteful creature. Thus, we need a mask on squirrels! Fuck the squirrels! I also hear that they turn to cannibalism rather quickly. <laughs> they do. So we should really... If you're a dog owner, you should be concerned about squirrels' nuts. That's all we're saying. 
It's a public service announcement courtesy of Wave of Absurdity at Hotmail.com. So, what is their plan? Wait, there's a plan? Oh, God. A London 2012 source told the newspaper, It's nuts, but true! <laughs> Uh, Bravo, uh, London 2012 source. That, uh, that's a horrible <laughs> taste in my mouth. Uh, where do penguins go to dance? Uh, they dance on... To the snowball! <laughs> oh, I got it. Unfortunately. Okay, let's see what other news we have going on. All right. She entitled this, I Love Poo, that particular <laughs> Ew. article uh, from the Orange UK. Yeah, nothing, says, UK. nothing says I love you more than a Valentine's Day card made from pulped elephant feces. Card maker VS is hoping his unique format of romantic missive will take the market by storm. His company, Elephant Stamp, plans to process 30 tons of dung every month to make a special paper from the grass and leaf fibers that pass through the elephant system without being digested. Right there. It's not technically elephant poop, then, is it? No. But... You are a man of a marriage status, correct? That is correct, at the time of this recording. <laughs> Would your current wife be happy with a card of, well... It, it, says, here that, it says here they do not smell. Would she be, would she be happy about that? She would not would know. The novelty wouldn't be for her. It wouldn't be like, oh yeah, by the way, that card's... <laughs> that's been through an elephant's digestive tract. <laughs> no, it would be mine. It would be a gift to myself. So yes, I would totally give her one of those. Here's a poop <laughs> card. What a lucky, lucky <laughs> lady. You can't keep using that phrase, regardless of how we edited it out. <laughs> Yes, uh, I can. <laughs> uh, do you want to do any more of uh, lovely Lauren's news? Oh, entries? we don't know if she is lovely. She told me to fuck off. Oh, this one's cool. Like sushi. Why not eat it off a naked body? I thought that said baby. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, disgusting. Yes. The question is the inspiration for a new dining experience being offered by a Miami restaurant. Kung Fu Kitchen and Sushi at the California Catalina sorry, Hotel and Beach Club is offering a deal from now until September 30th which allows diners to eat off a discreetly dressed human platters. Oh wait, this, this, this isn't new. <laughs> no. Sorry, I, heard, I think I've heard this before. Yeah. What, what's wrong with this? What's this? The Sun I don't know. It was posted News on the 7th of August. Yeah. But hey, who likes to eat sushi off women's titties? Hey, ding, ding, ding. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what Not if it's like a really big fat one? If you order like a lot of food, do they get like bigger <laughs> people out? Can you supersize everything? <laughs> and then out comes Big Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> you want some milk? <laughs> no, no thank you. <laughs> are you better off ordering a small meal? These are the questions that the news does not answer. I almost accidentally posted this article to my personal Facebook. <laughs> You're trying to tell your Facebook friends something. <laughs> Let's all band together. It's $500, it dollars, so that's, that's whoa, ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then... I'm getting all them crumbs for that kind of money. <laughs> all right, that what was... are the people thinking when they're lying there as people are eating food <laughs> off of them? They're uh, doing complex math, Owen. <laughs> oh, of course, how silly of me. And here I just thought they were whores. <laughs> they're uh, probably wondering what their life goal is and, and how that... I don't care how good it pays. It's <laughs> You're a plate. 
<laughs> you are when somebody asks you what you do, you're not like, well, I do this artistic thing where people eat off me. No, you're a fucking plate. Five hundred dollars, you get half that. Out of Hi, I'm a plate. That's what I do for a living. People eat off me. Slash rant. Here's the part where we wonder if Owen is still around. Yes. Okay. So, are we doing more viewer news or are we moving on to the next exciting feature? I feel we that... We get a lot of emails, so it has been quite a task crawling through. And I'm highly unorganized, so I only got Lauren's email up. But Phil <laughs> is very organized, so maybe he has some viewer news. Uh, yes. Well, I'm not sure how this classifies in the... I wasn't, uh, we weren't, sorry, we weren't presented a link this gentleman, Gareth, sent. Thanks for emailing Gareth. Yes. He just kind of sent <clears throat> this article, or maybe this is his summary of the article. So there are some language barriers that I'll, I'll try to just comb Don't over Don't worry, just, just say it exactly how it's presented. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to read the title because that will spoil the story. Oh. One Nikolai Badenov, it's <laughs> a cool name, 84, it's a cool age, came to the <laughs> hospital after reportedly having a stomach ache. He was brought to his doctor. After a pussy, a going to the hospital for a stomach ache? <laughs> I know, take some Pepto. After a <laughs> brief full body examination and a sperm test, oh, I'd oh. hate to. Brief sperm test done. <laughs> Nikolai mentioned to his doctor that he had eaten sausages because that's natural afterwards. The doctor thought that he had not cooked the sausages completely. Nikolai also uh, mentioned food poisoning. Yes, Nikolai also mentioned that one of the sausages had a funny taste to it. His doctor, uh -oh. his doctor asked him to give a urine sample and give him some pills. Wait, so the doctor give me a urine sample and give me some pills. <laughs> Aren't you the doctor? You, you give me pills. He then asked Nikolai to get dressed and go home and get some rest. So had the an entire, entire thing he was naked. <laughs> yeah. So Doc you said you had sausages today. Shall I get my clothes on? <laughs> no, 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 no. What kind of sausages were they? Uh, doctor, I've given you my sperm, my urine. We've done the brief full body examination. Can I put my clothes on while we talk about this? No. After Just uh, <laughs> look good for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Bend over this way. After a few days rest, Nikolai discovered, after reading the local newspaper, that some poor fellow had lost his shaft during an accident with a meat cleaver and a close, college, close colleague. Dis dismembering. By shaft, do you mean penis? By shaft, he means penis. During an accident Oops. with a meat cleaver in a close college, dismembering his member. <laughs> his doctor noted that it was a former wife and that the memberless man had cheated on her and she had come back to take her dignity. <laughs> he had apparently fled to England. Oh, God. There's a penis chopper in England? <laughs> no, he's the choppy. Oh, right. So he's okay. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, police are... <laughs> Police are said to be searching, but she has not yet been found. Okay, now I'm confused. He, she, we're not sure if the penis chopper is oh, loose. Oh, God, you got to tell me. If there's a well, crazy switches. chopping lunatic uh, language penis barrier. in my town. Nikolai has said that he laughed, quote. <laughs> but after remembering the other night, he froze. He reported that he had uttered the words, I knew it. <laughs> he knew what? The urine results came back and showed that Nikolai Badenov had in fact gobbled cock. Said a oh, local no. oh, said, dear. said a local dear. hobo. Said a local hobo. What? Dear. When the doctor called in to confirm, did you talk to the hobo? Dear. I sent him a copy of your urinalysis. We can detect sausage. 
<laughs> in your urine. I'm not shitting you. Uh, that's what the email says. The <laughs> urine results came back and showed that Nikolai Badanov had in fact gobbled cocks at a local <laughs> hobo. <laughs> Whew. When the doctor called in to confirm that it was true, Nikolai said he could hardly understand him. He must have been on the laughing gas. Nikolai stated in this interview that this was all a German plot and that one should be trusted. <laughs> he also said that he has now become a vegetarian. <laughs> Sent from my BlackBerry wireless device. Let's blame it on the BlackBerry. Well, surely, why would you come become a vegetarian? You've already eaten human meat. I mean, just keep going. <laughs> I know. That's not, there's no chance that you're going to accidentally eat your cock again. Go to town. <laughs> Eat more meat. How did he not know it was a... S <laughs> I, I, I don't know what kind of penis it was, this, but... Uh, this sausage sure has a gritty foreskin. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> There's a lot of blood vessels in here. <laughs> How come whenever I think about sex, my sausage gets bigger? <laughs> That's not true for me. Yes, well, go back to Dr. K's class. If you're, if you're only masturbating 14 times a week, I want you to do it 28 times a week. Whoa, whoa, 14 a week, even in my prime. 14 times a week. What do penguins sing on a birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patricia. Happy birthday to you. Freeze, he's a jolly good fellow. Freeze, a jolly good fellow. Freeze, a jolly good fellow. And it's time for Master Debater. It is, you know. Cue the music. I don't think we have <laughs> no. any That's some music. I'll be curious to see what music you select for that part. None. Okay. <laughs> Anything that stops me editing. <laughs> Do we need to explain what Master Debater is at this point Okay, in time? so since we missed, yeah, uh, due right. to ki time constraints, we missed last week's, not last week's, but uh, the last Master Debater topic, which of course was the Velcro, and I do actually have the results in my hands right now, Phil. Oh, yes, yes. So, <coughs> it's good to see somebody's on the ball, right? Yeah, hmm. exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, can I have a drum roll, please? Absolutely not. Nothing to do it on. All right. Drum roll, please. The winner of Master Debater Topic, Velcro Shoes, goes to... That's a shitty drum. <laughs> Phil. Thank you. Although, to be fair, a lot of emails, which aren't considered part of the voting process, would have made it a landslide, but a lot of people were like, eh, about the topic. So, so I do, quickly, before we advance, I do have some shell shocking news. This <laughs> could have ended my political career. Oh, God, I forgot about this. I should take my headphones off. Go ahead. I... Uh, Don't do it, Owen. I um I've been Stop. wearing Velcro shoes for oh, three years now. No. No. Now I didn't want to tell you before the debate started because I thought that would sway you. Somebody get him. Somebody shut it up. I thought that would sway your, your just cut it. Your position on me, but cut the wires. You know, I just I don't I know, just, just, push I, I just thought it would be good microphone. just to get it out there that I wear Velcro shoes and I'm damn proud of it. <laughs> Oh, penguin jokes. Always good stuff. So we're going to do a little master debater. Focus and a little shoes. editing. Shh. Owen. I lied to them. I just... You goddamn people make me sick. Listen to you. Making Owen dance. Talk about things that he doesn't want to talk about. Just so you can have your little shits and giggles. <laughs> I just don't... Don't worry, Owen. By now, they're skipping around for the contest. Okay, good. Good. 
So today's master debate topic is Phil. Undecided. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let the view. Oh, that's right. This isn't live. Let's let the people in Phil's head decide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people in Phil's head. What should we go for? Uh, you had suggested one absolutely recently about avoiding street charities or I, I was assuming you're talking about any charity that either plops out in front of the general store or the beer place yes the, the people that stop you in your mid walk yeah uh, do you have people that stand literally on highways like at major intersections with buckets like hey it's no free. okay we have that problem wow <laughs> So. I didn't realize charity was a problem, Phil. Well, it's a traffic problem, <laughs> is what it is. All right, well. So, we've got that one. We've also got money as a gift. Yes. It's it's up to you. You can... Uh, uh, well, you know what? Money as a gift, that's at sitting a little too close to home right now. And you aren't <laughs> too big on slippers. So uh, let's go to avoiding street charities or... Uh, What's, a, what's an easier phrase for that? Um, random assault charities. <laughs> right. All right, so. Now we're going to choose the pecking order, Penguin's Peck, of the master debater. We do this by going to random.org. Phil is evens. I am odds. Haha, <laughs> that joke never gets out. Let's Whoa, go. Wait. <gasps> Savor the moment. And proceed. 78. All right. I will be... All right, I have to learn. So now Phil mistake. gets to choose who's going to be pro, who's going to be against. The choice is, will I have more fun being pro? Do I want to win? What are the stakes involved? Personality? Remember, it's not about your personal feelings. It's about who has the best debate. Yes, I'm trying to think, will I have an easier time arguing for charity? I think... I think I will be able to win by arguing for charity. And I know, oh, and you were just relishing the fact that you get to argue against it. But I mean it to win it, motherfuckers. Remember what he just said. It, okay, you can be, so now you we're going to roll the, the generator again. No, 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 no. To see who That's who not how it goes. goes. That's first. not how it goes. That's yes, not it how is. it goes. No, that was the option of the, the winner. It's just that recently I have been winning and opting to use the random generator to decide that. Well, I thought it was a thing now. No, no. All right, that so I'm going to click generate. No, no you're not clicking is. any generate 79. because I would so I'm like gonna to go let first. So I'm going to Phil go first. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Phil, tell me when you're going to take your time. <laughs> After I'm done laughing at that little exchange. Okay. <clears throat> have some water here yeah look at this tough guy drinking water it's just a euphemism okay <laughs> I am ready are you gonna say start or something okay on your marks get set debate charity I think we can all agree that helping other people out when we have the ability to is an excellent thing to do. It's one thing that really makes our species worthwhile, that we like to help others out. There's many different ways to, to go about giving charities, but I think for a lot of people, they don't realize that they're, they're in a position to give to a charity. Sometimes if there's somebody outside a store, you're going to get some beer, you got your beer, you're ready to have a good night, you're walking out, you got a couple bucks change, there's some kids there that are like, please help us. We need to get to the national softball championship, but we're just $200 shy. Give them three bucks. You're going to go get smashed anyway. You would have just lost it in poker or whatever. Let the little girls go and play in the championship. Plus, MILFs. I'm just saying, sorry if you're a lady. DILFs? I don't know if they deal in charities, but what I'm saying, there's Jilfs. a sexual aspect if... You're looking for the hot moms. Okay, so one, charity to others. Two, charity to yourselves. I have a whole lot more in the argument department. Uh, time. You still got 40 seconds. Okay. Uh, other than the feel-good nature of charity, 
the the convenience of it being right there. Sure, you're not going to write it off or anything on your taxes, but you're not giving a massive sum to try and save the wing of a hospital. Uh, sure, sometimes the charities could be for big things like cancer or whatever, but, you know, as long as it's not some guy that just painted a bucket, you know, generally you can tell which charities, if you're, if you're giving to somebody that's going to use the money for what they say they are, this is, this is a no-brainer. If you can, spare a little cash. That's Time. All. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a tough act to follow. Not playing around. No, uh, shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty scared, but... Uh, <laughs> Let me hey. h- hook up my timer here. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Uh, okay. Convenience. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. Convenience. Now... I don't know about you, but when I'm out and about, I don't like to be stopped. I'm a man on a mission. I know where I'm going. I'm going. I don't need to be stopped. Now, usually these uh, critters, if you can call them that, they're just always so overly happy. They're always so joyful. Yeah, well, that's and terrible. You think, you think that, hey, they're doing a good thing until you realize that they're actually paid to stand there. If they cared so much about the charities that they were promoting, they would not accept money to stand out and get donations. They would not do any of this. So when I'm walking around spending my hard on hard hard and <laughs> <laughs> spending my hard earned cash, I don't need to be disrupted by some overly peppy mid teenage twit going, Hey guys, do you have uh, you seem like some cool dudes, do you have any do you have some time to spare? No, come on, it's for charity. Look at look at these look at these horrible pictures of people dying. Look at that. Don't you want to stop that? Don't you want to stop that? Well, thanks for putting me in a good mood, asshole. I mean, yeah, that's great. I'm just walking. I'm just trying out. Standing around with the hard on. <laughs> I'm just walking around trying to buy a new 3DS game, and you're here showing me pictures of dead people. Eh, I don't need that in the morning. Why should I give you the time of day? If you're just going to shove dead people in my face, they're just con artists. They, they try and make you feel bad. Look, here's a picture of a cold lady. 30 you pay seconds. for a heating bill. Here's some dogs that are trapped in some horrible building. Well, who's taking these pictures? Why don't they help them? Why do you want me, who's minding his own business, to help somebody when somebody taking the photos could have helped them? Why do I have to be an equation in this? You've already got somebody there looking at these problems. Why don't they do anything? Time. Why are you getting paid for this? Why don't you go for the charity yourself? Do you pay for the charity? Our oh, time. Oh, what, you didn't trust my time? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was getting a little, uh, whew, hot-headed there at the end. Yes, yes. Uh, master debater, not master <laughs> go off on a ranter. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, other than your little Freudian slip, I, I don't think you made much of an argument. I'll take my two minutes. <clears throat> right now. Uh, all right, let me just touch uh, on what you said at the end there. Um, you're you're talking about going to get a game. You don't want to be bothered uh, with charity. Yeah, no, that that makes sense. You're not one of the good people that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and I guess things are different. Uh, people are paid to stand there, but they're still collecting for charity. Uh, you referred to kids as little critters, as if they're not human. You don't want to be stopped. Big bad game player on the way to buy something. Uh, what? I, I don't even see what the argument is to not spare a few dollars. You're, you're talking about going out to buy something that technically, first world speaking, is excessive. You're going out to buy a game. Okay. Are you going with the exact amount of money? I doubt it. I can see if you were upset if somebody approached you. I understand the shock tactic of showing pictures, you know, to make people feel guilty. I understand that. That's kind of a shady operation. You should be able, through words alone and brightly colored signs and scantily clad females and men, be able to raise money for your charity. I understand that. Simply arguing the point that you can't, you can't take some time throw a some change some change if people are just throwing in change it adds up you're 
You're just representing a spoiled generation in a world going down the shitter because it's all about me, me, me. Charity. It's the opposite of how you're living, Owen. <laughs> I'm not sure I should ask what time it is because I just Ten kind seconds. of ins insulted you personally. <laughs> Charity. Helping others. How can you argue against it? Time. Wow. <laughs> Instant win! Go for the throat. So, would you like one minute to bother with that? I'm going to take my uh, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. So I forgot I went first, after all that arguing. <laughs> start. So, once again... Phil, thanks for the insults. I appreciate that. That's real classy. Real classy. So, charities. Now, on the outside, they look like a good thing. Hey, we're going to go out. We're going to go and help these people. We're going to get your money, and we're going to give it to the people that need it the most. What they don't tell you is, before we give it to the people that need it, we need to pay for the building. We need to pay for the employees. We need to pay for travel. We need to pay for our own stuff. We need to pay for filmmaking, we need to pay for our equipment. Then, then and only then, can we give you the 26p of your £10 donation to the person that actually needs it. It's a total and utter scam. Let's not forget Peter. She Peter, passed. they go around saving animals. If you donate to Peter, stop right now because they kill more animals than they save. Charities are just a great big scam artist to fatten somebody else's wallet. Okay, and I go back again. I don't want to be annoyed. I, this may be a very personal thing. I don't believe it is, because I know everybody avoids them. If, if you see some dude in a purpy red shirt going around, hey, excuse me, man, do you have some time to talk about dying dogs? No, I don't. <laughs> that is not an accurate portrayal. That is an absolute portrayal. That's okay. <laughs> they just go around, hey, can I have some time to talk to you? Yeah, dying dogs here. Okay, that's fine. You, you, you don't need that. You're just having a lovely day, and you don't need to be worried about the troubles, you know? Ignorance is bliss. Stay in ignorance. Why not? It's fun. It's good stuff. So... <laughs> I'm not it's even bothering to write that down as an argument. better suited to making my life better and those around me better than it is to fastening the wallets of some of these fat cat charity <laughs> uh, CEOs who do nothing but inflate their words and their, their progress. It's a, it's a bunch of nonsense. These people are on commission. They're just out there. Time! <laughs> I still got three seconds. They wouldn't be doing this if they didn't get paid. So, thank you. You have violated the sanctity of Master Debater. <laughs> I was still on time. You shall be penalized, as all Master I... Debaters. <laughs> I was on my time. I don't know when you clicked star. Fine. But, hey. Give me my one minute now. Oh, God. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that I wasn't insulting Owen. I was taking something that he said and used it as a point of reference. Attack! I'm going to do that again. And uh, oh, what yeah. is it that you said, Owen? Uh, stay yeah. ignorant. That was your tagline of your ignorance last, is bliss. last two minutes. Yeah, no, that's great. Um, I understand that many charity companies, many places, you have to spend a little money to get money. You have to have some sort of resources to get, to get the, the number value that you want. Uh, that's why they call it philanthropy, okay? It's you're, you're giving to the people. You're saying, you know what, maybe I don't need to go get that fucking pretzel after I buy my game. Maybe I will give it to this reputable because it's, uh, you, know, you know what, charity is all encompassing. Time. <clears throat> is it <clears throat> okay I'm going to take my time now so I would like to point out that Phil did not in fact challenge my argument that charities can do more harm than they proclaim to do good just like I challenge they kill it now more animals they don't. than they actually save I think it's like 96% animals they actually kill which is absolutely retarded if you want to do something that's useful do not give <laughs> to street charities whatsoever. Do not. Charity starts at home, okay? Treat mm. yourself to a nice pair of shoes. Treat a homeless dude out to a, a meal. You know, put your money where you know where it's actually going. Don't give it to these fat cats who claim charity. Stop saying fat it. cats. 
if we don't need it in this world i don't need to be looking at dying starving children again somebody took that picture why aren't they feeding the kids instead of milking the sympathy value it's a disgusting practice those people should be shot ship them off to nazi germany get rid of them there's nothing else to say a vote for me is a vote for humanism so Sorry. yeah Owen, and time okay can you show me on All Google right. Maps where Nazi Germany is? <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> All right. Well, how many votes do you think I won by? <laughs> but you won. No. So you can vote uh, one of two ways. You can vote in the YouTube comments. You can no. either leave a vote or you can thumbs up somebody else's comment. Uh, that left a vote or you can go to my Facebook fan page and vote there emails don't count but I read every email so I know overwhelmingly that the support is for me oh. not this one no Phil speaking of <laughs> viewer email we should get there after the good news and bad news okay Phil what's the uh... what do you want first I know, I know you want the bad news first what's the bad news uh, the bad news is there will be no would you rather. What? Well. What is this, Jip? It's, <laughs> it's called, uh, in sexual terms, this is a recovery period. Um, <laughs> I need to build up a little more before I can put out again. Uh, between, we just took care of the last person, Matt. Uh, gonna have to take care of somebody. We're not dismissing the results of this, would you rather? Which uh, I totally forgot about. And and then just look, we're skipping it. Give me some time. Let's just jump right to what people. The good news is they're still lateral thinking. Oh, thank goodness that award-winning feature is safe. Yes. The good news is also we're going to go over the emails quickly right now to find out who voted so, for what. What was the would you rather question? Oh Christ! Uh, it would be, would you rather have uh, somebody? Okay, here we go. Would you rather <laughs> have a ugly but magnificent actor represent you in a movie or somebody that's very good looking but really shitty a really hollow actor portray you in your life story so Owen what was your answer from a week ago or two weeks or whatever hey let's cut to that clip I would choose. See what I did there? I pretended to cut to a clip. Hmm. Cutting cut. room technology. Uh, it's, oh, it's still the same recording. I would choose the ugly actor because I just feel there'd be a lot, a lot of pressure on me if people see the film and they see this hot guy and they're just like, oh my God, he's adorable. And then they actually see me and they're like, oh God, kill it with fire. And you know, the, the brilliant actor, he can move people in more ways than looks. So... Hmm. I would uh, fall back on that and then they can look at me and be like, oh god he's more attractive than the ugly actor and But I he can't act as well <laughs> uh, I liked well. him better in the movie than in real life <laughs> I would go for the ugly one, definitely Okay, so Owen likes the uglies Let us <laughs> quickly Okay, we have uh, Alexander A Congratulations uh, I love the podcast and think it's absolutely brilliant and always no, very stop funny. It, Jim. Uh, Come on. <laughs> no, really, your segments are hilarious and the soundboard oh. is great. Didn't uh, put that in. Mm, <clears throat> and your email shit. Uh, I mean, and it's so funny. And why limit yourself to an hour, guys? It's not like we won't listen to the end. Oh. Or maybe mm. we won't, since the analytics say only 4%. <laughs> only 4% actually listen to the end. Huh. Sincerely, Alex. That has nothing to do with what we were talking about, but I'll be damned if that wasn't the first email I read. Let's go from back to forward. Lauren, surely she picked something. Ah, uh, yes, she did. I think Owen would rather be played by an extremely hot guy with no oh, talent. Oh, you fucked up! You oh. fucked up! But wait, her reasoning... Because then you can laugh at how stupid they're acting. And finally, fuck you too, Owen. 
sure she, <clears throat> she wanted that read out, I'm sure. It's important. Mm, I already read it out, but thanks. I know. No, we had to thanks go. for chipping away. That's uh, Gustav. Oh, don't forget, we have to touch back on Gustav. Oh, Gustav update. Da, 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 da. The man with the name and the equation. Okay. Uh, Eric P. Owen will choose a bad-looking actor with great acting skills. Put him down in the win column. Because Owen will be good-looking compared to the actor. Well, oh, well. my goodness. It's practically read your mind. And the people would at least know his personality. Also, people would say something positive about the movie. <laughs> 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 I'm all about people's opinions of me. And here are the people that would fit Owen in his movie. <laughs> oh, God. Mike Myers. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. He's a good looking bloke. Willem Dafoe. I see. Mm, eh. Christopher Walken. Now, there is a good actor that isn't exactly <laughs> Mr. Positive Features. And Tim Curry. Oh, interesting. I, I suppose 2012 Tim Curry as opposed to transgender Tim Curry. Oh, and he has some stuff, but we'll save that for viewer mail. Let's try to move this along a little quicker. You're the one doing this. So yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, and this person, Hackers44, didn't ask. Let's see if Matt W. has it right. This week is quite deep, he says. Is Owen fan of good movies with ugly actors, or is he vain, and does he want to look pretty? However, the benefit of the good but ugly actor is if people see his actual self, they will be like, damn, he looks better in life than the movie. Wow. He got that one. Yeah, that's uh, too bad that... Your stunningly accurate answer does not enhance your chances, sir. No. He also sent but some... But hey, good job on getting inside of my mind. Yes, he sent some news. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to touch on that. I feel like... I'm, I apologize for the oversight, but at least I checked the mail. And... Cody. Cody T. I think Owen would have a hot, retarded actor than a smart, ugly actor because he'd Ew. rather be hot than ugly. Uh, sorry, Cody. Disqualified. <laughs> Connor B. <laughs> Hello, Owen and Phil. I hope I have sent this to the right people. So I love the podca podcast. Now you got me saying funny words. Podcast. Um, nope, this doesn't have an answer in it. Sorry, Connor. We'll we'll get back to you. Fuck you, Connor. Michael M. I think Owen would choose the gifted actor with an ugly face. The gifted actor with an ugly face would be able to actually portray Owen. No. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Disqualified. <it's laughs> throw him out. <laughs> And with the thousands of dollars slash pounds, your choice, you would make on this movie, wow, <laughs> your movie would make thousands. <laughs> Only thousands? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the high expectation, asshole. Uh, Not even tens of thousands. No, thousands of pounds you would make on this movie. You could just give him a makeover anyway and make him look like Owen's long-lost identical twin. <coughs> the hot-ass actor. No, there's more. Oh, God. The hot-ass actor with no talent would be strange. He would have Owen's good looks, <laughs> hmm, direct contradiction, <coughs> and abnormally large bulge. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Owen. <laughs> oh. But you know? he would be so shit, he would be <laughs> like a Boston pancake. Oh, God. The flat shit represents his talent, and the jizz <laughs> would be his hot body. In the end, it would still smell like shit and be like I'm watching another crap... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the, uh, you, I'm you, over here. you bowl, you e bowl move movie. You e bowl. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah you e bowl. You mm. bowl. Mm. One of the two. This is my reason. And if Owen picked the hot ass actor, have fun with your Boston pancake. Uh, Oh, thank goodness. I didn't. Yes. Yeah, so sorry, Michael M. After your entertaining email, you chose. Oh, correctly. Good job. <laughs> 
Michael God, I got M. some sort of chest thing going on over here. Uh, <laughs> oh, any sense? Oh, you mean like problems with your chest? Yeah, it's like I've had some sort of laughing fit or something. Possible. Okay, Blaine Clark. Or, sorry, <laughs> Blaine C. Uh, I think he would rather have an ugly person with amazing skill. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I don't know about you, Owen, but I'm not accepting that. There's no reason. I'm pretty sure we specified that you have Come to have on, a Phil. reason. Open up your heart. All right, whatever. It's you. <laughs> All right, Blaine. Oh, no, wait. He sent two. I just don't have it in there. Okay. Blaine is cleared as a win. And... Should we also say that the people... Is this... I don't know, because there was people that sent in Would You Rather answers after we recorded the episode. Yes. They're automatically entered into... Is it this draw? Uh, yes. Well, I know one person that I have set aside is Spasmatic translated is his youtube name he says i overlooked something Smooth. yes so he's in this if you were overlooked if you did not hear your shit read out loud go back into the email that you sent shit from <coughs> go to your sent mail and forward it to us again otherwise we will not accept it you can't be like yeah i sent you something or at least if you send something email what you sent again so that we can enter you in and you will be automatically entered in for this one for no wait because there is none but for the next time there will be a master list constructed so wasn't it for the great uh oh, yeah, the episode great. i am uh, so I don't know. fucking confused right now right now <laughs> we're just winning writing out the people that got your answer correctly in between this time and the next master debater, if you have submitted answers in the past, <coughs> emails to the... I said master debater. I'm talking about would you rather... Get your shit together, <laughs> Phil. Here we go. Final version. If you have sent answers into waveofabsurdity at hotmail.com and you have done that due to trying to get into the contest of would you rather and you haven't heard it mentioned, email us again at waveofabsurdity at hotmail.com, either with the same email or the gist of the email. And then by the time you hear the next podcast, we will have you in for the next round of prizes. Because there is we no will check, rather. though. We will check your email. Yes, we will check. So we'll don't, don't be like a sneaky little Jew trying to escape from the camp. Dun, dun, we dun. Will catch you. Nice save. Uh, speaking of prizes. <laughs> Thank you. We well no we'll wait we'll wait till after all right uh, let me just make sure uh, Greg Gregory Nipple Boy didn't He's send us up Phil come on come on come on nope all right well sorry not a lot of people uh, I thought you had all this planned out I thought you had no Greg. I had all the emails set aside in the correct oh, okay. category you brilliant, motherfucker brilliant planning no there's a lot okay all right well then sorry people will be added. It, no, no, we no, skipped it. On, no, 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 no. I don't on, have no, it. No, I don't no, have no, anything else. Yeah. That was the last one. That was the last one. If I missed it, send it to us. We'll get it. We'll get it in time for the next so podcast. So who's going to be the winner of today's Would You Rather? Oh, uh, yeah. So how many people do you have written down after all that? I was supposed to be writing You were down. supposed to be writing down the people with the right answer. Oh, my God. All right. Now, here's how we do it. The winner is... All right, well, you're going to have to edit this out. Sorry, you didn't... Oh. No, come on, just pick somebody. Okay, hang on. Wait, I don't want to pick the same person. This is all random, so... Uh, <coughs> don't feel bad. Okay. We have such a tight ship at the No, I'm separating the emails. I'm separating the emails. ship. <clears throat> Lifeboats are deployed, life jackets are put on, and we're just out, so we're scrambling. Eric P., the Skeleton Gamer 24. Congratulations. Did he already win? Uh, who cares? Okay. 
Well, uh, you won for choosing a bad actor. With he's the one that suggested Mike Myers, Willem Dafoe, Christopher Walken, and Tim I think Curry. Mike Myers could play me. Uh, okay, so we're way over an hour. Um, should we just toss that up into the fucking air for now? Because there's a lot to go still. There's the sure. Why not? Lateral thinking. There's a lot of viewer mail. We don't want to stiff them. Okay. Well, don't be discouraged. That's would you rather is gone you can still have a chance to win prizes and it all falls on phil's <laughs> head so uh no pressure no pressure tonight you could be winning you could be the lucky viewer Ooh. well wait phil gets this right before we start could be, okay there was one person possibly with one, one extra thumb up possibly that said i think phil should get like three yes or no answers one person one person one that's thumb not up. good enough Come on, give me one question. One I'm yes or no question. I'm going to give you half a question. <laughs> All right. Well, people, you see how it goes. Also, we'll bring up I'll Gustav. give you one question. I'll <coughs> give you one question. One yes or no oh, question. But if he gets it due to that one question, we're never having questions again. <laughs> so, what you could win is a copy of Saint Row the Third for mm. Steam. It's a very high-priced item. That is a high price item. Very generous. Well, thank you. It usually goes for twenty nine ninety nine. Mm. But hey, I didn't pick it up in the Steam sale for five bucks, no. <laughs> so Or you well, you don't have to do anything. All Phil has to do is get this lateral thinking question right so you so he can reward you, the viewer. And it's also a stab at me because he's taking my money. Ah, oh, little scam. Yeah. That's a good enough reason to win. So in what sport are the shoes made of metal? Horseshoes? Is that really a sport? Is that the question? I'm sorry. Do you want to think this through? I guess so. Usually you got to drag this out. I know, but well, I, I don't know. It just seems like such an obvious... All right. Uh, the shoes made of metal. It, yeah. Intrinsically, my first response is horseshoes simply because there is a pair of horseshoes in my wife's car right now that we have to return uh but yes one question <clears throat> what the hell are horseshoes doing in your wife's car uh we like to go to the park and have <laughs> anonymous sex with other people and we use the <laughs> horseshoes no we just there were a lot of parties this past few days trust me what kind of parties involve horseshoes the game of horseshoes? I'm sorry, you've lost me. Where you throw horseshoes onto a pole from a distance. That's a redneck. You're going to roll a freaking hoop down a hill as well? <laughs> I think you're just trying to throw me off from the answer. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm willing to give you the answer whenever you ask for right. it. Well, yeah, because technically that's more of a game than a sport. I'm just uh, interested into why you've got horseshoes in the car. All right, but and not on a horse. Oh, but yeah, well, that's the thing. Oh, see, the sport could be involving horses, where the horseshoes are metal. Horse racing, then that's the sport. Yes, horseshoes, not a sport. <laughs> oh my god, I just got that too. Sorry, Does I'm it? just as dumb. Okay, well, I'm going to use my one yes or no question. Uh oh, here we go. Does the Whoever answer asked Does the, the answer involve the literal interpretation no, sorry, let me rephrase this. Does the answer involve hmm is it a, <laughs> is it a sport that involves animals? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is it All right. That's horse, your question, bitch. Yeah, all right. I'm uh, this is I'm trying to formulate my answer. Metal shoes. Does involve animals. It's got to <coughs> be horse racing. That is my final answer locked in. He's locking it in. Drum roll please. We don't have a drum. Oh, I can't wait till next time. I'm fucking your world up. <laughs> no, Sorry. you know what? Sorry. Next episode going to be subtitled the amazing non-digital 
sound effects extravaganza. Mark my words, because I can't do anything about it later when he names it something else. Ha <laughs> ha! It better be horse racing, you cocksucker! Okay. Can I have a drum roll, please? <laughs> One. There you go. The correct answer is in fact Horse racing, we got to win up! Did you give me an easy one? Hey. Or did you know, did I mention horseshoes recently? Why would I? <laughs> the correct word, the answer says horse racing or other horse sports. <laughs> I'm not okay. sure what other, I guess, horse polo. All right, for the record, I told Owen at the beginning of this podcast that if I had heard these before, that I was going to milk that shit and just pretend like I didn't know it. This was not the case. Simply had horseshoes on the brain. So. Now, how do they win this <coughs> voluptuous prize? Uh, yeah, we never thought about that. I guess. I do. I remember. Oh, can I suggest something <clears throat> before that happens? Sure, why not? Since I had to go through the trouble of, what was it, two losses before this? I had to be the bad guy? <laughs> I think I think it was two, yeah. Yeah. I think the person that sends in the nicest two sentence the two sentence poem about how cool Phil is uh, uh, I can hear you seething already, Owen. <laughs> well there you have it. Email at wave of absurdity at hotmail dot com and uh yeah, the best two sentence poem about Phil Phil will be the judge, obviously. Um, Saints Row. Yeah, you get Saints Row the third. The third. Bloody good game. Lots of dildo whacking. <laughs> I've seen that on your channel. Um, I'd like to make a little request that uh -oh. uh, you Here we I, go. Come no, on. No, no, that you and I should bring up <laughs> at the end and should have brought up at the beginning that perhaps if you have emails for separate things, if you want to send in news, if you want to send in an answer... Um, you don't have to, but do us a favor. If you could separate the emails, maybe put in the subject what it is you're, you're talking about, that'd be great. Not required. What is required is two sentences that rhyme that I have answered. I have won something for you. I have climbed Mount Owen and stuck my flag Ew. in his peak. All right. Well, Owen, very generous of you, regardless of how you got it. And the fact that you can't use it, but you are giving it away instead of selling it. So I am, I am. Very generous. Uh, this, <coughs> I believe, yes, we should talk about Gustav. Um, Gustav update. Dun, 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 dun. Gustav, last week, uh, I forget the name of the game already. Smite. Stamp? Oh, Smite. <laughs> Stamp. <laughs> Good the going, Grandpa. <laughs> Get on your tweeters and start tweeting. Stamp the game for postal <laughs> enthusiasts everywhere. <coughs> I already forgot again. Stink? What? <laughs> smite. Like smite. I will smite religion. you if you don't get this religion, right. Religion smite. Okay, got it. Nice mnemonic device. Smite. Um, hopefully, he didn't go and use this key, but there is a... Uh, Gustav, who offered us a key to that game as a, a gift to give to you guys. He was being nice. He did that. And then, like, 47 minutes later, an email came in. He's like, whoops, I gave it away. Then we called him out in the last podcast. Then he got the key back. So we have it. Hopefully, he hasn't used it again. If you have, I'm not playing Awesome Knots with you on Steam anymore. So, not that we have yet, but we will. Do you want to give out the key? Uh, how how do you want to do it? You want to make it whoever just the, whoever the hell emailed in anything has a chance. No, just say it out on the pod podcast. You mean right now? Just pick a person. Yeah, right now. Gonna just whip it out right now. Um, <clears throat> wait. Who won the last one? So I don't get it fucked up. Wait, what? I just want to make sure that I I forget. I forget who was picked for the last thing. That was... Where's Gustav? No, no. Um, which... No, wait. It was Michael... Michael M. Wait. Who is the guy? Oh, God. This is terrible. Owen's fucked up actor. 
No, it wasn't him. Sorry. Okay, I'm clicking around <laughs> furiously. Okay, so the CD key is F1 no. C E. I had that. I know you're doing F that. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting totally. 8 <laughs> 2 5 D E. Sorry, five, that number nine, again. 9 4 2 E E A 9 5 5 E B A Falcon 1 Carolina Echo 2 Falcon 6 8 2 5 Desu Eagle 9 4 I forgot a number use Owens we'll print it whoever gets <laughs> it first thank you Gustav you're a nice person like to add that we're very confused about the equation well, this will be our segue into viewer mail okay uh love keep up the great work that's how we signed it gustav is a real name by the way a very swedish slash scandinavian question mark name don't talk no shit about my name phil oops <laughs> you've pissed off the masses <laughs> so listen Gustav, if that is your real name, which is, I think, oh, how this... Oh, shit, I'm standing way back from this one. This whole thing started because I said, if that is your real name. No, Gustav, respectable name. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is me talking to you, Owen, and nothing to do with Gustav's email. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the name Gustav came from the Fornordish meaning of God's staff which is good, G-U-D, slash, equals God, and then stav equals stav, G-U minus D plus stav equals Gustav. Make sense? One, and not at all. All right. What I'm saying is Gustav. I know. I can see the email. You're not trying to be smart. Mm, no. it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next email, starting from the bottom up. Uh, let's see. We tackled Lauren. Oh, <laughs> tackled a lot of what she said. Hi, um, that is sexual too. I know that works on different levels: <laughs> the upper level and the lower level. He said lower, like vagina. Eric P, who is actually the <laughs> the winner of the most recent "Would You Rather," which is a nine dollar ninety nine sent game on steam no options there i mean other than steam obviously lots of options like to point out <laughs> that the previous winner got uh knights of the star wars republic thingy <laughs> i'm such a gamer that's not the mmo just so you know people so don't go up in arms what he got dirty dollars worth of mmo no it's, it's the old mm. game relax no i accidentally purchased the 99 dollar package no okay he knows what he got he, he also knows said, what he's got. <laughs> he's, he knows what he's got. Uh, he also says, hello, it's me again. Hello. Hello. Thank you for answering my question. I just wanted to know, so when... Actually, never mind. Anyway, here's a little <laughs> scenario. Don't worry. It'll be fast. You were sent to prison for public masturbation and stealing a blow-up doll. In my world, you will be sent to prison. <laughs> hey, uh, just a quick note, Eric. Uh, I'm pretty sure in Owen's world, in my world, we would, we would get sent to prison for that too. If we no. <laughs> in my world, that would be a religion. <laughs> and he thought we would fit this scenario. Okay. Oh, and in prison, we were offered yeah. protection by two gangs. One, the rubber duckies. The other. <laughs> The Ninja Bunny Rabbits, but that's a gay name. But you have to enter an uh, by initiation. Okay, in the okay. Rubber Duckies, you have to kill an inmate, then do a Boston pancake on him. That's just erotic. In the Ninja Rabbits, you have to let a big black 
Ooh, racist inmate. <laughs> do anything he wants. So there's a big black racist inmate? Do a, uh, you have to let I hate a, those. a big black inmate do anything he wants to you in the shower for 20 minutes. Well, it's racist because it's the assumption that there couldn't be a big white or Latino with a large penis in the shower wanting 20 minutes of Owen. I'm assuming he's addressing this to you directly. What, what is, why, why is it going to be me? And you have to answer or you will be shanking the ass fool. So, will you join the rubber duckies or the ninja <laughs> bunny rabbits? Thank you for answering my question. P.S. Owen is Santa Christ and love your box and it manages to captivate your smell. P.P.S. Phil is a dodo head. I now remember. Oh, shit. I now remember his previous oh. email in which he reversed the rules where oh. he said something nice about me. Somebody so, better get you some burn ointment. So, Owen, would you rather kill somebody, shit on their chest, pat it down, and then ejaculate on it, or get raped in the shower for 20 minutes well i've often often thought that decapitated bodies are quite erotic where's decapitation so, coming in where's the <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened here <laughs> you've rocked my world no go on i'm sorry <laughs> i would join the rubber duckies <laughs> known for their decapitation prowess sorry I need to know now. I know I said I shouldn't, but where did you hear decapitation in any of that? I didn't. I was just revealing my personal erotic <laughs> fantasies. <laughs> okay. Moving on to your answer, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, people think it's funny. Oh, he's only I, joking. No. I know. I'm secretly contacting the police. <laughs> I'm confessing. <laughs> yes, I, I would rather join the rubber duckies simply because there's no lube in prison and I don't... It's Dude, bad you enough. can get anything in prison. Sorry, go ahead. Well, it's, it's bad enough having spicy foods come out <laughs> of, the proper, of, the, of the proper way. So having something go in the wrong way, that's just, that's just going to hurt. Would that be your first black man? Well, I mean, it's not no, racial. Don't tell. But who's to say that he does want to rape me? Maybe he wants to play some checkers in the shower room. <laughs> Nothing like a wet game of checkers before rape. <laughs> oh. The rape only lasts five minutes, but goddamn, his checker games last forever. <laughs> yeah, as, as long as I got to choose who I kill, uh, I'd be happy <laughs> doing that. So that's the decider, really? If somebody's like, no, you have to kill the prison warden. Well, I'll go in the shower. Well, that's that's more time on my sentence. I'd rather kill. No, you're already in jail for public masturbation indecently with a blow Yeah, but that's not gonna doll. get me a, like a lifetime sentence. I guess you got a point there. Interesting. Oh, now, nah, fuck it, I'll become a hard criminal. <laughs> you were hard <laughs> before fuck with you me. became I'm a criminal. I'm with the rubber duckies. <laughs> the hardest in cell block C. <laughs> Don't fuck it's with the so rubber duckies. It's so for quackers. Oh. <laughs> rubber ducky, you're the one. I would rather shit on somebody after I kill them. Seems more my style. Simple answer to a simple question. Matt but Kendall. Do, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Mm, hmm. I'm going to have to wait until I really need to poo before I kill them. <laughs> Yo, man, why don't you just shit? Because I got to <laughs> kill them, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, you have to make the pancake with your ass, so you don't want all that kind of <laughs> diuretics. And you want well, a at lot least of, it's my own. You want a lot of fiber. Okay. Matt K. asks, just wondering if it has to be steam or can it be... Oh, yeah. No. All the gifts are steam related. Well, let's do a different one. Uh, Hackers44. <laughs> uh -oh. He was uh, submitting a... W um, master debater subject hi Owen and or Phil interesting hi. or hello my hello. S my subject is the brony community oh god and the show it supports kind of lame that's what he says but I think it would be interesting so shut up 
and Phil, you better win because I want free stuff. I'll kill you if you don't. Well, Hackers44, seems like you're going to be writing two different sentences. Anyway, oh. I know, that was so perfect. Actually, you're disqualified because you threatened <laughs> me. No, all right, you're not disqualified. Um, I don't think we need to master debate this, do you, Owen? No. Bronies are shit. Bronies need to stop shoving it in everybody's faces. I like a good show as much as the next person, but I don't like shitting up everywhere around me with it. Okay. We have Matt W. also selecting Hi, Matt. a master debater. Uh, who would win, a wild dog or a wild cat? He included a definition for wild, meaning not domesticated. <laughs> really? And here I was thinking of a civilized dog and cat just drinking <laughs> tea. Oh. I say, dude, good sir, do you, do you fancy a round of pausy cuffs? Uh, oh, oh, dude, you suck! I was just about to say fisticuffs. <laughs> I mean, body cuffs. I did pausy cuffs because they got paws. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, oh, God. oh hi. Uh, oh, let's see. High brow humor. Good luck, Owen, on catching that thieving prick. Any updates there, Owen? Catching that thieving prick. So my friend actually, uh, on my birthday, my friend got me a gift. I thought, oh, how sweet. I opened it up and uh, there was a shoebox. <laughs> there was a shoebox printed with Skyrim logos all over the <laughs> place. <laughs> and he's like, look, I got your collector's edition back. I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> That's the last thing I needed. I got robbed a few days ago, and here he is mocking me with a shoebox. I like Skyrim this dude. Skyrim Collector's Edition. I actually put it back to where my, my Skyrim Collector's Edition used to be, so there's just, just a sad <laughs> little shoebox. <laughs> this pathetic reminder of what, what once was. Yeah. Thanks for that, though. Uh, yeah, well, I have to admit, he <laughs> also sent in some news that I didn't click on because it didn't have the headline in the article. Um, but now that I click on it, gay rights group now focuses on helping gay penguins. <laughs> rice. Okay, did I say rights or rice? Oh, I thought you said rice. I think uh, is there like non-gay rice? Uh, <laughs> what the hell? They seem pretty asexual to me when I look at a grain of rice. Um, I know, right? Oh, wait, sorry, there's a whole big article on gay penguins, but on the right, it says random funny facts. Don't Mail. click it, you're going to go into a void that you don't want to enter. Every five seconds, a computer gets infected with a virus. That's not very funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. kind of disturbing, I don't want to think about that. Well, thank you, Matt W. And... Cody, nope, he didn't have anything important to say. Just answering a question for a prize. That he didn't even win. Uh, <laughs> Connor B. Hello, Owen and Phil. I hope I have sent this to the right people. I remember you from less than 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Hello again. So I love the podcast. I especially love Master Debater. In, or in parentheses, Phil always wins. Get out of it, you ass-kissing son of a bitch. Your guys show rocks. Keep it up. Phil, you rock. Owen, you are the love of my life. Oh, oh. You, you've made it up to me. Okay, come here. Uh, funny ending line, though, here. Winking smile pickles. Oh, wait. I have the images shut off. Oh, it's an emoticon. Sorry. Winking smile pickles is not the person's handle online. <laughs> That's more funny than the actual emoticon. Oh, dear. <coughs> uh, let's see. Michael M. Uh, oh, my name is Test Subject is now under maximum security quarantine for escaping uh -oh. a cell and using government computers for terrible entertainment purposes. Has sent another email. Two questions for both of you. Number, uh -oh. <laughs> number one, Owen. <laughs> That's not the both of us. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know I know you were busy with other shit Oh well then we don't need to rest of this series. No But when are you going to be making viewer videos again? 
Sorry, while you're thinking about that, somebody previously, I didn't read it, asked me a question, why torture Mr. Fox? I do not torture Mr. Fox. I am a human, and they are puppets. Another puppet <laughs> tortures Mr. Don't Fox. Don't ruin the illusion, yes. you asshole. Owen, are you going to be making goddamn viewer videos again? <laughs> These people need exposure. They need their games validated by you and others. It's too hard on the planning stage. If somebody out there wants to have already thought a way about actually getting viewer videos back out there, but I used to be able to make websites, but uh, I sort of lost that skill because I couldn't <laughs> be asked to <clears throat> keep up with the courses. But hey, all I need is a simple website that has available dates and available times. Somebody That's all I need. Somebody clicks it. They send. They send me the name. They send me the Skype name, and they send me the Steam name, and and that's it. And they click send, and it goes forward to my email, and nobody else can pick that date. So only like two people can pick that date. Uh, once that date has been fully booked, you can't click that date, and then you go on to the you know you're on a calendar, and you click the next date, and you know if that, that's did I explain that? I don't think I did. No, I think. What Owen wants is some sort of calendar program because the main problem is maintaining any sort of schedule with a stranger, essentially. You don't well, know if that person's going to show up. It's Exactly, because I had people from Australia, Canada, US, Brazil, or, or what have you. So it's kind of hard to say, right, what time works best for you? If I can have set times, then people can judge, like, hmm, will I be around? If not, then don't don't apply. I, I I just don't know how to do it, so I'm just like, uh, fuck it. Quick answer, not right now. Maybe somebody unless will. somebody's got some mad web skills. That would be interesting to see. <clears throat> the second question: Can Phil sing the song "Zero to Hero" from Hercules, replacing oh. Hercules' name with Owen's, and <laughs> in vice versa <laughs> with Phil's name? Um. Oh, when I, I don't recall. Is on the wrong. I guess you do. I don't. <laughs> I got Disney songs on my phone. Okay. Oh, it's a Disney movie. Okay. I thought this was. Yeah. Well, my answer is no. Right off the bat, without checking anything out, and the fact that we're really crunching the time here, and we must quickly. Come on, Phil. Don't be. Don't. Don't be like that. Oh, another question. Don't, don't, come on, Phil. Another question. <coughs> By oh, our we're pal. Him, hero of the story. Oh, we're him, winner of ancient glory. Fighting for the right. Fighting with a No, you, you're supposed to say my name if you're singing it. Man if you're singing, you're supposed to say my name. <laughs> New question, faggots. Fair hell, hero of the song. <laughs> I fucked that up. Fair <laughs> hell, hero of the song and story. Fair hell, winner of ancient glory. Fighting for the right. Fighting with his might. With the strength of ten ordinary men. Hell. People are safe when near him. Hell. Only evil fear him. Softness in his eyes, iron in his eyes, there's virtue in his heart. Fire what? in every part. Are you the reading the actual lyrics or are you making them up? <laughs> Join us at his side, standing there with pride. Victory is here. Raise a mighty cheer at the side of fear. Hell. <laughs> New question, faggots. Oh, that was embarrassing. <clears throat> is how Gregory, aka oh, Nipple Songwriter, <laughs> will Owen, Phil, no, and God. Phil's nipples be doing any co op games like Borderlands <laughs> 2 or Mario Party or Nipple Land 22? Yeah, Phil, when are your nipples actually going to sprout arms and a mouth? <laughs> um, also, I'd like to say co op. I mean, no offense, I would love. I would enjoy a game of co-op anything with Owen, but not without... If you remember the old Dungeons and Dragons thing <laughs> afterwards, we needed to have something, something, something adversarial. So to answer your question, not anytime soon. I don't think, unless Owen all of a sudden is like, dude, I have to play awesome nuts. So otherwise, 
Yeah. Well, I'm always up for it, but whenever you play, you just play offline like a douche. Well, whatever then. <laughs> I, you, all right, make me a calendar program. No, come on, man. We've been around well, each other long enough. No, can, you know when I'm on. I we know when you time for uh, the the podcast. Why? Right, yes. How about this? Uh, because this is no, oh, no wait. That's a totally different thing. But any time we spend on that, we'll take away from podcasts. So it's a matter of user input. Would you sacrifice a podcast just to see me and Owen play a game that would have to? I'll I couldn't fuck you up. I couldn't play I, I don't have a gaming computer I should say I don't have a gaming uh, video card so <laughs> oh yeah because that's the only component that makes a, a computer well, like run games these days I'm just saying I don't think I could run Borderlands 2 uh, you, you have a pretty good idea what games like, uh, there's quite a few games we could play adversarially adversarially <laughs> adversarially and cooperatively but again it's a matter of time so all right we'll put that in the maybe category i know Tick. well no we we had a thing we're supposed to play halo against each other but you're like oh yeah haven't played halo in so long and well, I'm, I'm, like, I'm still waiting for you to get uh, <laughs> what i i fucking got the wireless mouse out i started well, practicing okay 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 we can do this do you do you you're gonna have to record on your end <laughs> that sounds kinky but all right you mean separately so that you can mash them together or for the whole c all right we'll, we'll talk about that later I record mine, put it on my channel. You record yours, put it on in your channel. They want to see the opposite. Oh, I see. But wouldn't we be talking online? Uh, I'm, we can use, like, mic chat, can't we? So we can always spew insults at each other. Well, that's what we I mean. We have our you own know, secret, like, oh, this is my plan. Or, well, fuck it. We'll do this later. Yes. That's, that's what I said. And then you went on about it. God. Well, excuse me, princess. As the as the sent in, uh, oh no, wait, from Seb. I have a topic for masturbator, master debater. Sex with the lights on or off? <laughs> um, uh. Interesting. You get two different answers from one married, one non married. Uh, you know, I kind of know the terrain. I can walk around my room <laughs> in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. So uh, It's always good to see bits. Mm, yeah, that's that's the way I am. Sometimes it's lights on to see the bits. Sometimes it's lights <laughs> off to. Oh, I didn't know you were gonna touch me there. <laughs> Surprise! Uh, yes, exactly. That's my butthole. Okay. And <laughs> Sorry, Phil. Here's what. I'll aim better next time. <laughs> Alexander A. Dearest Phil and Owen. Oh. Hello. I love the podcast. No, thank you. you stop it now. You're, you're well, me blocked. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, come on. And always very funny. Oh, Jesus. Your segments are hilarious. Oh, God. That's innuendo. I know what segment he's talking about. And the soundboard is great. Oh. Now you've just lost me. Good job. <laughs> Bee! Er, I mean, and it is so funny. And why limit yourself to an hour, guys? Well, Alexander, guess what? We're at an hour and 45 real-time recording. <laughs> it's not like we won't listen to the end. Obviously, Alexander does not speak for everybody. Or maybe we won't. No, he isn't. Since the <laughs> analytics say only 4% listen to the end. Anyways, huh. That's how he ends it. Huh. Sincerely, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Yes, thank you. And uh, that's it. That's all we got for you. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, listening to the podcast. I hope you've had a great... No, it's not over yet. I fooled <laughs> you all. It's time for Mamma Mia. That's a nice mouth, Phil. Uh, I still think you lost, but we'll see. Fortunately, after an hour and 45 minutes, I'm f so fucking hungry and there's a... <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. All right. So, uh, what uh, what treats have we got today? Well, <clears throat> what I have here, which <laughs> I shall send you a picture of. Well, I'm excited. Is 
Three Monkeys Sweet and Spicy Mustard, the grand Ooh. champion, 2012 of the Worldwide Mustard Competition. Uh, all natural, gluten free. Thank goodness. Uh, let's see here. Holy shit. 18 servings in this little bottle, 25 calories per serving. This was in my wife's car for a while. Let me just make sure there's no... <laughs> Along with horseshoes, what kind of mysterious <laughs> things have we got in the car? We Is have like some funky road trips. Uh, mustard, vinegar, sugar. Well, of course there's mustard in here, asshole. <laughs> Assorted spices, butter, xanthan gum, inspiration, gratitude, and love. Contains milk. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think inspiration spoils after two days. All right, anyway... Um, I'm going to apply them to regular bar pretzels. Just plain old pretzels that you would have. Oh, all over your keyboard. <laughs> God damn it. Whoops. This is our best feature. Okay. <coughs> and remember, if you didn't do this, oh. Lauren would have killed herself. So. It's, she she might goodness. if I can't get this... Seal you're off. not only eating oh. to beat anorexia, but you're eating to save lives now, Phil. Well, I can't get the goddamn lid off. It's fucking. Eat the lid! <laughs> Eat the lid! If I hit it with the opposite end of the knife. Come when on. Phil gets violent. <laughs> the, the lid's caving in. <laughs> Grand champion, my. Oh, there we go. We need that satisfying noise. Oh, there's still a bit. We need that poik noise. <laughs> there we go. It didn't make the wasn't poik really noise. really a poik noise, <laughs> was it? <laughs> there is no... Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Let me just <clears throat> get a little out on the knife. Apply it to my pretzels. Now you're saying, why don't you just dip the pretzels in? They're too big. Why don't you break the pretzels? Why don't you fuck off? All right. This smells absolutely rancid. I can't see what this <laughs> is supposed to be for. I'm timid about eating this. It's brown. Oh. <laughs> it seemed and this like was uh, bought by your wife. Uh, was it uh, was it out of love or just hatred? No, uh, she she received it. I don't know if somebody's like, "Yo, you got to try this," or it was some sort of. All right, it's dripping out of my hand. I have to put it in my mouth. She's like, "No, I just give it to my husband. He does an internet thing." Oh. <laughs> what is this wind? This tastes like. I imagine what ash would taste like. <laughs> oh. No way, my swallow. Ew. Ugh. Sorry, I need to eat some regular. Uh uh. No way. If I dub this over a gay porn set, nobody will know. Dude, that has <clears throat> that is either from being in the car, <laughs> or I don't have a sense of palate, <laughs> or there's thousands of people in this championship that suck. I'm sorry. One more, one more, ah. one more, one more. I didn't one swallow more. it. All right, I'll eat a big handful. Let's see. These are big. It's our best feature. You can't skimp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Just imagine they're the beetles in your mouth and just. Oh, oh God. You're getting me hot. Did you watch the Olympics at all? Uh, only uh, a little. I watched. <coughs> <laughs> die, die, <laughs> die, die. <laughs> I put too many in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. What have we learned? Uh, not to shove the handfuls. <laughs> oh my god. It's still there in my can. throat. Can you hear it when I talk? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> one of these days, this feature's going to be uh, the death of you. I know. What a horrible way to be found. <laughs> Three monkey mustard all over my body. <laughs> Pretzels. The Skype call would have hang, uh, hung up yet, so I'd still be on the other end. Hello? <laughs> You'd be the first person they interviewed. It'd be like a lateral thinking question. A man was found dead talking to somebody across the ocean. <laughs> the I'll ask them, uh, can you just uh, stop his recording and send it to me, please? <laughs> I know. Uh, can you convert it to MP3 first, you ignorant <laughs> bastard? <laughs> he may be dead, but he's still got duties to uphold. <laughs> So you're an FBI agent, huh? So you probably can edit a wave file, all right? <laughs> all right. Well, sorry for that. It was disappointing. I expected that to. Maybe it's because I put it on the wrong. I, wh- hot dogs and pretzels. That's what I think when I think mustard. Did I go wrong? Let me know. Wave of absurdity at hotmail dot com. Do you know a crunchy food that sounds funny on air? Yogurt. I know, I was just going to have a bit of ice cream so that all you would hear is the spoon tinking against the bowl. (laughs) Now that's entertainment. (laughs) Well, Owen, I, uh, once again, after the podcast, I'm left with a foul taste in my mouth. I'm happy to oblige. I expect you to... Oh, God! (laughs) (laughs) Who's letting the team down now? To never, ever try to masticate this nasty three-monkey mustard after it's been in your car. She probably lied. She's probably in her car for a week. Well, we've had laughs. We've had tears. We've had but most near medical emergencies. <laughs> We've had fun. And on that note, Phil, I think it's time to end this episode. What do you say? I say coming up on two hours, you're probably right. I would like to say thank you to everybody that has listened right before Owen does. So mine sounds more sincere. I would uh, <laughs> like to tell you all to uh, <laughs> go die. After listening. Well, there's only 4% wow. listening. Let's, let's include a secret password for the 4%. Phil's nipples are amazing. No! The secret Phil's password. Phil's nipples are amazing. Okay. We'll, we'll be if you listen extra this far, please leave a comment with... Phil's That's nipples aqua extravaganza. are amazing. Aqua All right, guys. So thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. It earns me money. I want my mommy. <laughs> yeah, end on that. What are we announcing the wave of bonus winners? I think we give them several days to have their entries and then Sunday morning cutoff point. And then we'll have a... Right, so you got into Sunday. Oh, well, they're 4%. <laughs> <laughs> you got into Sunday. So Phil Nipples are amazing. Thank you very much for listening. I've been Owen. I've had a great time and I'm out. I have been Phil and I highly doubt Owen's going to include this exit in his final cut. ba da ba ba da ba We're out.